Good morning. I'm up on the wall, the old wall again here in the old city of Jerusalem. It's just breathtaking. The camera does not do it justice. Got a time lapse going up here of the sunrise. Do a little Bible reading. It's going to be a good day. My wife and I traveled to a place where war is happening. Not just to tour the Holy Land, but more importantly, to spread a very important message to all people, all image bearers of God. And that message is this, you are not forgotten and you are greatly loved. <laughs> Will you arrest this man, please? Okay. Thank you. Yom tov lachem. Bye. What are you getting ready to do? I am going to hike the serpentine path straight up to the top of Masada. Evidently, it is, uh, as some websites have described, torturous. He leave, he wanted to... Hold up, Rummy. We're going to put one more bag in. These are six going up. Destruction faces him. From on either side, yon chasm so terrific as to daunt the hardiest. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Okay, Granger's going up. I really want to go, but I will probably make the crew be a lot longer than they want to be. These guys walk fast. <laughs> Even just walking through the streets of Jerusalem and Israel and everywhere we've been, they are way ahead of me. So I just, I wanna go, but I think I would take double the time to get up there. And I don't wanna have everybody waiting for me. So Granger and the guys are gonna go and we are gonna take the gondola <laughs> up to the top. Okay, how do I look? You look as ready as you'll I be. I look like I'm about to uh, be daunted. <laughs> Does it look like the hardiest will be daunted? Not these guys. It's yawning. Ready. I'm yawning. <laughs> Let us ready. know. There you go. And this is how we begin. Nice and perky and happy. Oh, it's so this is so easy oh, right yeah. now. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. Yeah. Um, okay, so a couple things. I'm starting, these guys are probably exactly the same, I'm starting at 10,000 steps already for the day <laughs> because I hiked up and saw the sunset. So uh, I'm not starting, I'm just kind of giving myself an excuse here. I'm not starting completely fresh. <laughs> but we're going up to the top of that mountain. The Roman army overtook the last Israel resistance at the top of this mountain. That's a long story and but it took them two and a half years to overtake the last resistance. About a thousand people. It was only about a thousand people, but the stronghold was so huge. Herod had made it so powerfully defended that uh, it took them that many years to conquer a thousand people. 10,000 Romans versus less than a thousand uh, rebels because of that hill that now we are going to try to take and hopefully about an hour. <laughs> Here, I can do it for the selfie. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Get in here, Seth. We did it. Ready? Oh, Ancient path. How old is this path, Travis? Oh, it's over 2,000. No, yeah, a little over 2,000. We have the Roman encampments out here, and that wall is original. And that is a Roman encampment at the base of the gondola over there. That's where they set up camp for two years. And they put a small wall all the way around the entire mountain so nobody could escape. So whoever was here, they were gonna get them. We're still hiking. Again, I'll go live in just a little bit. Hey, there they go. Must be nice. We're not 
not too far behind them. Yeah, we'll be there again. We are at the top. Okay. It's kind of a home stretch here. Time's getting more steep. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hanging on this handrail. This is it. We did it. Yes. Ah, victory. Oh, on, I missed it. Wow. Yes. Come on, bro. Ah. Hey guys, oh, I'm really so worth it. All of you How you doing? To do this. Ah. Really? Yeah. Harder than you thought? Oh, about the same. Wow. Just unbelievable scenery. So we're gonna go see Herod's Palace, I think, right now. Herod's Palace. Yeah. He was a master builder. A master builder. A master builder. So over here, this construction work going on is uh, they're just this is what you see kind of throughout the country is restoration of old ancient things so that's what it's what was in here oh my goodness that's the water yeah so they, they captured the rain and then put it. Okay. This yeah. desert is crazy. That desert. Oh, look at another Roman encampment. You see it? Square? See that square? That's what we were seeing on the other side. Oh, yeah. That square is a Roman, the encampment that was part of this invasion. That's where they lived. This is actually really well preserved. Yeah. For so Herodian. Moisture. They get like a quarter inch a year. Dry, no moisture, lots of salt. <laughs> he had quite the view. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gives me the shivers. I want to show everyone too. This is, you could, it, sort of coming in view, or maybe not with this camera. Straight out of here is Mount Pisgah. This is where Moses stood and looked and didn't get to come into the Promised Land. We saw it from the other angle from the Jordan River a few days ago, way down that way north. But uh, you could see it here down south, straight across the Dead Sea. And Joshua took them in. Yeah. Yeah, the jets are flying. Below us, it's so crazy. I saw it earlier, flying down this valley, lower than us. It's wild. Coming All right, so now the journey down begins. Let's see, it's 10.52. Let's see what happens. There he is, what? Okay, bro. Let's go, Aaron. Let's do this. Let's do this. Must calm down. Like Jesus, right? That's right. Woo! That might be the first dead sea yee yee. Unless somebody yelled it during a battle here. They might have. The ancient ancestors of Yi Yi Nation. All right, feather in the cap. 
we hiked the serpentine path up and down and for anyone keeping score 34 minutes i believe is what i saw on my my watch yeah but we didn't push it terrible and we didn't we actually stopped so yeah. travis could do a live instagram <laughs> yes there we go little legs cops <laughs> All right, we've moved locations. We went north probably 10, 10 miles or so. And uh, this is the Wadi David. It's a creek, flowing stream, in the middle of the desert. And this is where First of all, David wrote a lot of the Psalms. This is where uh, specifically, fa more famous story of David and Saul. Is, is King Saul is pursuing David here through this wilderness. And Saul goes into a cave to relieve himself. David just so happens to be hiding in that cave. Long story short, does not kill him when he could have easily kind of changes the game a little bit. And for us here, we get to actually see caves in these hills and the ancient stream running through these mountains. You can hear the water just pouring out. If you go around there, you'll have a view from the top of the waterfall. Okay. It's actually the nicest waterfall that's close. We'll see it on the way back down then. We're putting in the steps today, boys. And he said it collapsed. Somebody died at the David Waterfall. So these are shifted. There must have been a pretty... This is not here. These boulders did not exist six years ago. Wow! That's pretty this cool. Significant, significant, significant. How incredible is this? And look at you can see uh, you can see an example of a cave right there. So the mighty men could have been camped around something just like this. I'm seeing. I'm seeing if I can get up to that cave up there. I don't know. Looks like I might be able to. Matt's over there. Mm. There's like an Israeli school that's doing a field trip here right now. In fact, it's the only tourist we've seen really on this trip. And I'm far from that path. I'm trying to get to that cave right there. Because that looks like a David type cave. Okay, this is where I gotta put the camera down. Because I can't climb that with the camera. See what happens. I'll use my phone to film. There we go. Hello. Yeah, somebody is here. In fact, crazy because the ceiling is black, meaning someone had a fire in here. 
Somebody stacked those rocks. I don't know, oh, there's, I don't know what's going on in there. I got in trouble for climbing in the cave. <laughs> apparently big time trouble about the park. Apparently you're, Here's time out. apparently you're supposed to read the signs in Hebrew and just know that you gotta stay on the trail. But it, my whole life I've had a problem with staying on the trail. Like on my tombstone I'll say Granger Smith, he didn't stay on the trail. Off the beaten path. Off the path. Off the road less travel. And yeah. she's so, gonna scream your eulogy. <laughs> I got screamed at and and we might have all to languages. Pay 350 shekels of I will pay the fine. 350 shekels. What's funny is Travis is out of here. <laughs> oh, the whole crew is like, gone. <laughs> the whole crew like left. And Thanks, I was like, Travis, I was you like, watch this video later. I was we'll like, where in. is Granger? And he goes, he's up there probably getting arrested. Hey, but I read Psalm 119. Yeah. Like three or four or five paragraphs of it yeah. in a cave that very well could have been a cave that David or the mighty men could have been in. It uh -huh. had a fire in the ceiling. I read Psalm 57 and cried. Just thinking, somewhere in those caves. Because if you think about it, here's the creek, right? So when you're you're getting drinks and you look up and there's caves, yeah. you would be, you would venture straight up, and that's where you'd sleep or camp. So it's not far fetched to think that any one of these mm -mm. right around here could have been a cave that David or his mighty men went in. And, yeah, for the night. And you probably wouldn't just stay there because like a sitting duck, you would move cave to cave. And apparently not a lot of travels get up there either. Not a lot of hikers go in there, apparently. I can't wait to see. Wow, a massive cave. Hey, here goes. Into the Dead Sea. We are going in. No holding back. And most of you probably watching are probably like, yeah, that sounds great. Except for we've been hearing horror stories of how apparently it hurts really bad. And it's not a matter of, uh, of how long you can go. It's a matter of how long you can go before you're hurting too bad and you have to get out. That's what we hear. We're also, it's just once again, to very light on tourism. So we'll be probably the only ones on the beach. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is the lowest place on planet Earth. Is that right, Aaron? That's what I hear. The lowest place on planet Earth. That's what I hear. Uh, my watch, before I took it off so it doesn't get salt damage, said we were negative 1,200-ish feet below sea level. My watch said, I don't know how accurate it is, wow. said negative 1,238 feet below sea level. That is the lowest place on the planet. The Jordan River flows into this uh, Dead Sea with no outlet. So thousands of years seems to be the theme that we said on this trip. Thousands of years of evaporation and, and minerals collecting in the desert. We'll stand over there. Come on, you guys, get the groove. Want... Looks like absolutely normal water. Salty? Yeah. That's salt. Legit looking like you're sitting in a chair. That's crazy. <laughs> Saltiest salt I've ever tasted. Saltiest salt. Oh my god. Did you just taste it too? This is like saying this really stinks. Here, smell it. Just flip over mm -hmm. and then stick your face in there. Don't breathe. Yeah. And come back up and you'll be healed. 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 I would like to see someone who has the guts 
swim underwater. I just have a gut. Uh, we have one. Seth, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this is crazy. This right here all looks like rock to me. I thought it was, and I went to stand on it. And you can see my shoe prints in it. Yeah. It's like spongy. Look at this. It's kind of, it's the mud, but it's all salt. Can you see that? I'm not a rock collector, but I guarantee you this shoreline is pretty rich. Collecting rocks. <laughs> all really good for me. Yeah, hanging out in the salt water. Yeah, it's gotta be good for your skin. But you're not sore at all. No, it didn't hurt at all. It's like this film, it gets all over you. It's like kind of thick, like uh, almost like oh. honey. Good. good. We're back in Jerusalem and it is 50 degrees colder here. We've also gone up 3,500 feet from the Dead Sea. And now we're back to where we got rejected yesterday to hopefully see the great Isaiah scroll that came from the cave that we just saw. Well, there you go. They are closed because of the tension in the country. So I have to come to Israel again to see, the dead, to see the Dead Sea Scrolls. We saw the cave that they were discovered in earlier today and the scrolls themselves. I mean, literally, they're so valuable, um, but not even visitors could see them with turmoil in the country. That's how, va that's how important these scrolls are. Oh well, uh, we'll go find the group, see what they're doing. So it's pretty cool, we found the group and they're looking at a massive model. Huge model. Of the city. Yeah, you can see the whole thing. So we could walk around what we've actually been looking at. It is an intense model.